Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, got a new knife. This is the HX Outdoors D170. Right, this is the box you get it in. I'll just show you that quickly. It's just a box. Um, so, this is the knife. It is a sheath knife, full tang. Comes in this green colour. I will just mention straight away that they do another knife like this that's 20 quid dearer. It's exactly the same, apart from it's actually a lot bigger. I actually thought I was getting the bigger version. It's my own fault, I didn't look properly at the stats. <coughs> I thought this was the same as the other one, just a different colour and cheaper. It's not. This one is smaller than the other one you can get. So just be aware of that. Make sure you look at the the actual um, sizes, because the other one is probably this big. And it's a tan car. Just so you know, you know, don't make the same mistake I did. Whereas it didn't bother me. You could get a surprise if you think this is the same as the other one, just different colour and cheaper. It's not. It's a, it's a smaller version. So this is it, and it is a small fixed blade which I'll, I'll show you the size when I get it out. doesn't look that small at the minute, but when you see the size of the handle, you'll realise it's not a true full-size fixed blade. So you've got this Kydex sheath, nice tactical Kydex sheath, with a decent belt clip. You pull this little clip up this way, push these in, and it opens. Fully removable, fully adjustable to different positions, you lay your belt across, put that down, and then when you put that back over, it locks it in place. So yeah, nice sheath. It's got a drain hole there, because it gets water in it. Here's the handle. Let's we'll take the knife out and I'll show you. The knife would not fall out of this sheath. It's, it's sheath is completely in, doesn't even rattle. So it's a nice, proper, decent, secure sheath. It could be, you could hold the knife in pretty much any position, up, down, you know, sideways. So just press it off like that to get it out. And this is what I mean about the size of the handle. It barely fits four fingers. But what you can do is you can go up to there and then the blade really does fit your hand then just see the end of the knife there, handle there, but yeah, it is a small size, if you hold it that way, it is barely three fingers, and I don't have particularly big hands, I would say I've got sort of average size hands, normal size hands, I don't have big hands, so if you've got big hands, this would definitely be too small for you. Here's the blade, there's the... Uh, name of it mercenaries tactical knife it says it's d2 steel and um you know i don't know about that but yeah i'd assume it is if it says it is a couple of different bevels on the blade came decently sharp it is ground on both sides not sure what that logo is what is it bit of Chinese writing by looks of it. So yeah, um, it's a nice looking knife. Like I said, quite small though. But um, yeah, you know, it's certainly nice. There's the handle, so you've got a little bit of a guard there, finger trial there, trialing the blade. Sort of Tanto type blade, I don't know how you describe this, it's like a tanto with a couple more angles to it. This top bit is not sharpened, in case you wondered, just beveled. You've got some jimp in there and here. Yeah, um, don't know what you'd really use this kind of knife for. Got a lanyard hole there, a bit more jumping. I think it's it's not really a fighting knife, it's too small, too sort of 
uncomfortable. Could definitely be used as a bushcraft knife. But, um, yeah, I don't know. But it's nice though, I like the look of it. G10 scales with torque screw head screws. Got these sort of cutouts. I don't know what you'd, um, they're not finger grooves, but I suppose that one is. Rounded grip. But yeah, when you hold it, you can't really feel those though. The only thing I would say is the only thing you really notice is the blade the handle is quite small. But if you hold it there, it actually fits your hand fine. It's got an 8cm blade, it's 19cm overall, and the handle is 9.5cm, and it's 163 grams. But it's a well made knife, if you want something unusual. I would highly recommend this. I think it's too small for, like I said, true bushcraft stuff, but I don't know. People may prefer a smaller knife. It's definitely a nice looking knife. You know, if you want something unusual, this is certainly the way to go. So the price for this is £30.68p, remember you've got a nice sheath for it as well, a decent sheath. If I can I'll, uh, I'll add a coupon code to this so you can get it cheaper than that. So it's £30.68p at least, there'll be a link in the more info section below in the description, I'll also add a coupon code if I can so you should be able to get it even cheaper than that and I'd say keep an eye on um, Gearbest anyway because occasionally they do have deals on and look on my blog for um, offers as well but yeah I'll add a <coughs> I'll add a discount if I can which I think I have so yeah that is the HX Outdoors D170 mercenaries tactical knife definitely a nice display piece but a fully working knife obviously so yeah look in the more info section for any links and if i've forgotten any information that'll be in there as well right i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found this helpful yeah just remember this is the smaller version of the two there is a bigger version of this if you want probably three inches bigger overall so if you do uh, yeah it's saying that if you do like this but you want a bigger version there is a bigger version all right hope you enjoyed the video see you later